Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Libra, this is a special tarot reading session for you. This reading for today, guys, we will be looking into the spiritual message of the new moon, Gemini, in your sign. We will pick up the intuitive message and also we will be looking into using the ethers, the astrological vibe around us. I feel like it's building up right now. And so we start our reading, okay? So I'm going to be using two decks in here, the Oracle deck and the Rider Waite, the classic Rider Waite spiritual tool. So we'll be using my intuitive message, the ethers around astrology, the air building up before the new moon and post new moon. What can I get for the Libra sign? We will pick up love, career, money, and general situationship message as well. So we'll be looking into the current energies, the spiritual message of this new moon. And we'll pick up more for you, okay? What is, what's the urgent message you need to know? What is the message that you're meant to know? I'm ready for you to know. This is for the sign of Libra, please. New moon, spiritual message, and career, love, money, and general situationship message for you, Libra. What can I get for the Libra sign? Oh, why do you have a three of swords? So let's look into the current energies, moving towards the immediate future, and predictive outcome and advice. If you would like to further connect with me, Libra, I invite you to also follow me in my main channel. The main channel is Sunshine. If you want to pick up more intuitive message, please follow me there. What can I get for the Libra sign, please? What is the spiritual message of this new moon for you? And other message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know. So we'll pick one oracle card for you to look into the spiritual message the message of this new moon. Oh, look at that. You've got the co coca or, or foresight. Look at this. It's so beautiful. I'm covering the boobies because we will be censored. So I have to cover that. Okay. So um, this new moon in Gemini, Libra, feeling the ether, the ground, and you know, the air around me. And normally before I look into astrology notes that my team prepared for me, I would actually go natural or organic. I will feel the ether, the air, the ground. I will meditate and really feel it. And then I will then read astrology notes that is um, prepared by my team. And then I will consolidate my intuitive feeling around the ethers and consolidate it to an astrology note. So that's how I do it. And looking into that, I feel like this Gemini new moon, it is very inquisitive, okay? Um, the word that I was able to build up intuitively is inquisitive. It means that before the new moon and after the new moon, you might find yourself very curious about information that will be igniting your creative thoughts, creative imagination, um, something creative. So um, it is encouraging you, Gemini, to be curious. Like if something, someone or a piece of information is making you feel to explore it, to be inquisitive about this information, whether it's a small detail, you know, super S, <laughs> lots of S, whether it's small or big, you're being advised by this Gemini new moon that there's power in being inquisitive, whether it's small or big, it could brighten up, it could lead to a breakthrough. Small idea, be inquisitive, explore it, dive it, because it could blow up into a bright idea, a you know, a breakthrough idea. So you're in, you're being advised like that, okay? Now with you, you've got the foresight. If you look at the foresight in here, one of the spiritual message for you, Gemini, if you look at that, there is, it looks like a, I don't know if this is a lion or a tiger, sorry. Um, 
if you look at the tiger, it's next to this beautiful, it looks like a fairy. And it looks like the fairy is learning how to build this flower. And there's a rainbow in here. It looks like one of your um, one of your spiritual message for the new moon is that you're being advised to update or innovate. Because the, the tiger looks very fierce. So it looks like you're encouraging you 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 are being encouraged. Um you're being encouraged, Libra, to update or innovate the way you do your higher learning. Okay. Um, um maybe you might find yourself having a creative block or intuitive block, or you might find yourself possibly overwhelmed or underwhelmed of information around you and if you feel like you're you know reaching a then a dead end or a boring way of learning discovering then the spiritual advice for you is innovate your higher learning innovate your higher consciousness okay you're being advised to tap into higher learning exploring being a being more innovative being more adventurous in the way you learn so for example normally you learn by reading a book so why don't you take this book into a beautiful place into more you know close to nature so find a way that you will be able to enjoy higher learning diving into your higher consciousness spiritual learning and be innovative like it's more of put a bit of spice okay have an appetite to get out of your way to learn to tap into your higher consciousness higher learning and creative imagination okay so whatever you do usual okay the usual way you do when you learn when you listen maybe you read you watch do it purposely innovative something that will break the ice of the boring way of how you absorb information so for example i'll give you an example for me when it comes to learning for some reason i cannot finish the book inside the house because the house is where i do my video and whenever i grasp into idea creative idea intuitive thoughts information i always you know get it out of the house so i have to really go out whether to just sit in a park in a beautiful place but i always do that in in a different way versus before i could just stay in the house and meditate but nowadays it's different so my way of learning and tapping into higher consciousness higher learning it's no longer in the house it is wanting me to soar outside of the house like it's more of the universe and the ethers is really wanting me to explore nature, you know, to to really expand your way of connecting yourself to the world and learning it. So maybe for some of you guys, you usually learn by a book. Now, this new moon in Gemini is spiritually, it's telling you try something that will ignite your advent, like be more spontaneous and adventurous when it comes to your regular routine of learning okay so you might find yourself if you read the book and for some reason that book that book of learning you couldn't finish it then try to you know take it outside so be spontaneous be adventurous be innovative when it comes to seeking higher learning whether it's professional you know personal or you know spiritual consciousness try to put a spice on it okay so open yourself into a different experience into tapping into that kind of learning in our life okay so this is that the foresight look at that foresight so this is a spiritual message for you gemini now let's pick up more intuitive message for you you know love career money in general situationship you have in here the ace of swords okay i'm very very cold my hands is so dry i'm sorry now the ace of swords in here oh Ace of Swords, the Ten of Wands. Wow, this is a very tough decision, Gemini. Something tells me that... Okay, there's a shake-up. 
okay? Something tells me the Ace of Swords, the Ten of Wands. You want to get rid of the Three of Swords in here. Something tells me... Um, Something tells me Libra. Sorry, this is for Libra, but this is a new moon Gemini reading. Um, Ace of Swords, Ten of Wands. You have to be, you have to give someone tough love with the Ace of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Three of Swords. Someone connected to friends or family or relationship. It also could be connected to work. It is tough love because you have to pull the Ace of Swords. Put like you you put a lot of energy, you know, you pour your energy to wield the ace of swords and get rid of the three of swords. Like something tells me there's a specific person, there's a specific situation. It keeps pestering you, you know. It feels like it's happening right now, or it's about to happen. I feel like it has happened already because I feel the three of swords in here. It's right now. But I feel like with the Ace of Swords, Three of Wands, it feels like it's still, it's like an energy in the past or in the recent past. But to sum it all, it looks like you've got to put somebody or someone, your recent past, the past energy to now, tough love. Like something, someone is pestering you. They keep doing the same thing. They keep saying the same thing. And because they keep doing that, it's not giving you the outcome. So what you did was to put a lot of energy, Ten of Wands, you use the Ace of Swords to wield the swords and give it to them and tell them, I don't want this. It feels like you have scared them, Libra. Whatever you did in the recent past or you're about to do tough love, like this is a solid decision to get rid of the Three of Swords. Like it's, it's a reading. Maybe this is love. Maybe this is a relationship. It could also be like sending a strict boundaries, you know, limits to... To people at work because what you're doing or you're about to do is hey i don't want betrayal love me leave me it's like that because this is unacceptable hey i don't like your behavior hey i don't like this love me or leave me because this is not the first time you know ace of swords ten of wands the three of swords like something tells me you want an outcome and the way you were doing it in the past it's not working now you've got to give them the ultimatum to get rid of the Three of Swords. You don't want the Three of Swords. This Three of Swords is not welcome in your life. This is too, this is unbearable. I would say if this is pain, hurt, or betrayal, this is unbearable for, for a Libra sign because you're so kind. You're so flexible, you know. Um, right now, the external energy, energy, they don't get it, Okay. Whether you're, whether, because the three of swords, I feel like there's still a betrayal or there's still some sort of disappointment. Like someone, someone is still disappointing you. Um, there is someone, a situation that's still heavily disappointing you. Although I feel like you gave them a big blow. Ace of swords and it was like, hey, I don't want this. I don't want you to do this. I don't want you to say this. I don't want this. Okay. Whether you say it verbally or the action you show is like, no, three of swords, please. Right now, the external energy, Libra, three of pentacles, there's little action. It's more of if you tell this person, love me or leave me. And then you are standing by with what you say. The person, the external situation, the external person or situation, they're not yet reacting fully of your ultimatum okay because this is big sword ten of wands i'm gonna do it i'm really gonna like this is like i'm gonna get rid of the three of swords love me or leave me this is like fight or flight as yes or no i don't think you're gonna back down libra with this no you're not gonna back down now the people or the situation that is involved in here they get you they get the message like they get that this is an ultimatum this is like a no to you and they know that you're not going to be flexible, but they're still processing it, okay? So pre-new moon and post-new moon, they're processing what you want. You're slowly being heard. They're slowly validating your point, and they're slowly incorporating your idea, what you want, appreciating you, because you're making some noise in here. Like, this is carrot or stick kind of vibe. 
So you give them the stick, many, many stick. Look at that. So the person, the situation that's connected to you, to this energy, they're acting slow. Right now, okay, in the next 24 hours, very soon, three to four days from now, the publishing of this video, they will consider that you are probably right. They're, they will be scared, four of swords, okay? Someone is in trouble or someone is bothered or feeling the loss of you really putting an ultimatum in here. You are not going to back down in here. I can feel it. Now, the hidden energy is the Knight of Wands. I would say there is a bit of in the... There is a bit of intimidation in here, okay? I don't know what you did, but what you did was tough. Like something tells me you have to give tough love. Because you've got the emperor in here. So sometimes you've got to be the disciplinary father or mother. You've got to really put the stick instead of the carrots because it's not working. So there's a lot of tough love in here, Libra, with somebody, with someone. They won't absorb or process your point of view or whatever you want. It's not accepted right away, but it's going to snap in the moon card. Eventually, this person or people will, the moon card, will be very disappointed of losing you because of something of a three of swords. It's more of, we regret disappointing you. We would rather lose the three of swords than losing you. The moon card. Let's pick up some more outcome in here. Because the, the knight of wands... You're moving away. Like, I can feel that you said to somebody, to someone, or your action speaks louder than your voice that I don't want this. Because you don't want that. You don't want it. You're not engaging yourself. You're quiet because you don't want it. They feel your energy that you're completely dissatisfied, disappointed. You won't tolerate it. Tough love. This is tough love. Now, the after effect of that is that initially, they're not shaken up. But as days, weeks, months, they will be shaken up into the core, not in the surface level. The blow is in the core, the moon card in here. Because it's like, you're like the father, you're disciplining them in the core. Because you're standing by, because this is not right. Whatever you're, you're aiming for, for them to understand, you're absolutely right. You're in the power. So you become independent. You completely detach yourself. That's probably why your new moon in Gemini is telling you to learn a lot. Go on and explore learning, higher learning, higher consciousness, spirituality, because you want to process the healing from the three of swords in here. This heavy betrayal. Yeah, seven of cups. And look at the eight of pentacles. What's the outcome, please? Last card. Five of pentacles. They've lost. I feel like whoever this person is or situation who you detach or you gave them an ultimatum, they will be hurt. They will feel the pain of the Three of Swords. They will be hurt. They will be sad, overwhelmed. And then Eight of Pentacles, they have to work with, especially if this is finances, if you don't want to support somebody, you cut your, like maybe you cut your support to somebody or to someone, whether it's money, love, help. If you're no longer going to put, like this is a reading where you've got to discipline someone. Because this is like father or boss, you know, you've got to put yourself out there, take care of yourself because you've been given. They will be confused. They will they will be poor, metaphorically, if you stop giving your energy or supporting someone or being with someone or loving someone because they won't listen to you or they don't value you. Whoa, look at that. June month, they will be sad, confused. July, they're going to drown with seven of, like around the month of July, they will be like, whoa, overwhelmed because it's hard not to be with you. It's not, it's so hard not to get your support, you know, and eight of pentacles, they will prove to you that you're wrong. There's an element that this person will prove to you that you're wrong, but eventually from eight to five, they won't survive without you. Whoever this person is, they will prove to you that we can survive without you. Come at the end of maybe probably July, August, from 8 to 5. Because whoever this person is, they will prove to you that, okay, we will survive without you, Libra. 8. We will work hard, double time, to make it up, losing you. 
metaphor. Okay, you work hard. From 8 to 5, this is a downgrade from 8 to 5. And we know 5 is being poor or metaphor for, metaphor word for, you know, not having all the resources. From 8, downgraded to 5, you know. And you've got a 3 of pentacles in here, yeah, 3. Look at that. 8 minus 3 is the 5. This is your, you know. This is your support to them. You know, if a job, if a job is made up, is if a job or a certain situation is, for example, if a situation will work perfectly by using 8 of pentacles, your share is the 3. And everyone else is 5. So you give the full share. 30% you. The rest, they divide the 5. So if you're gone, eight minus three, five, this is a loss. You're, you're completely a loss. Like something in the future, in the immediate future, there's going to be a blow up, a collapse. You know, imagine a company will close because you're not there. A situation will never survive without you, but they will try to survive it without you. Okay, metaphor. They will try to survive it without you. They will try. And then they will feel the blow of we, without you. Three of swords. Because this is three. You gave them the three. They give you a three of swords. You remove your support. And from eight, minus three is the five, which is scarcity. They can't survive it. They might be able to survive it, but it's difficult. Difficulty. Five of pentacles is being difficult. So they felt the three of swords because you remove your three. They gave you three of swords and you pull away and you remove your support, your love, your resources. What's left is the five, which is about scarcity, which is about surviving, just surviving. You know, just surviving because the strength in number, when you were there, it was so easy. They gave you three of swords. They gave you three of swords, you pull back. Tough love, tough love. So someone is going to try to survive it, to live without you. Okay, metaphor. Someone is going, someone, a company, a situation, a person, a group of people will try to survive without you. They'll prove it to you. What they can get is a five. It's better with Libra, in short. So that will trigger a communication. So you wait and see further down the line. So this is your reading. Thank you, Libra, for watching the video. Thank you for your support. And I will see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye. Okay. It's not turning off. Okay.